Well, hi there, Sagittarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag for the week of the 22nd. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. If you would like to order your own private reading, you can find that in the description box. That was my cat B. All right, Sag. I think you have some unfinished business with somebody here. We have the world in reverse, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. World in reverse usually is a cycle that has not completed, lessons that haven't been learned. I think these lessons are still in play for you and for this person. Now, four of cups in reverse over there on the left is someone who doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity. You can see how there's a hand offering her this cup. She's not even looking at it. It's like she's meditating. She's in her own head. I would say that this is someone who has decided that they've missed out on an opportunity. They missed out on something amazing here. We've got the Three of Cups, which is a reconciliation card. It's also a celebration. It's a reason to celebrate. You've got the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, but also Cancer and Pisces. Knight of Cups can be somebody writing in to apologize or writing in to try to charm you. I like how the modern knight here is on a motorcycle. This is somebody who wants to get your attention, someone who is pursuing you. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, so far we've got the judgment card, major for Libra. Some people feel that Scorpio energy. So the judgment card is always about making decisions. It's about something that could affect the rest of your life or several areas of your life. It's a big deal. It can also mean the resurrection of a relationship. You can see here, that's Ma'at from the Egyptian pantheon, weighing a heart against a feather. You may want to look into that legend. This could have been someone who didn't love enough, who didn't give you the love that you deserve. Hmm. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So the four of pentacles in the upright is someone being stingy with you, who is being difficult, who is, they're, they're holding back with you. They're not giving you their time, their energy, their effort. Hmm. Ace of cups. That is a new beginning in love. It's someone falling in love with you, someone starting a brand new love cycle with you. I don't know. It's like this person feels like they screwed up and they need to do something bold here. Hmm. Okay. We have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy there. Let me arrange these. So the Empress is all about development. It's about growth, expansion, someone who finds you attractive, someone who thinks that you are spouse material, that you are parent material. This is wanting to grow the relationship between the two of you. It's also a very loving energy, especially when it shows up with that Ace of Cups. Just someone who wants to love you. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. That is a long-term relationship. A very, very long-term relationship. It's spending your life with somebody. It's spending decades with a person. Um, taking care of the next generation. You can see the baby there. You can see the old man as well as the old folks. Um, building a legacy with someone. Owning a home. This person seems like they're all in. Let's... 
let's clarify this. All right, so what is going on with this person? Hmm. They love you, like this love is real. This love is intense. This person isn't playing around. They definitely want to be with you. The other one that popped up was the Five of Cups, which is regrets about the past. Now, cups carry emotion in the deck. They're about our relationships. They're about our feelings. We've got the Ten of Wands. This person has some emotional burdens. They have some things to tell you here. This can also mean like the two of you have had this really rough cycle that's ending. Hold on. We've got the judgment card again. So they really, really want this new beginning with you. They want to bring this relationship back to life. They are not going to be playing around here. This is like a bold statement. This is someone writing in here for a new beginning. What is going on? Okay, we had two fly out here. We had the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles would be an offer. It's someone giving you their time, their energy, their effort, something valuable. It could be an apology, an explanation. We've got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this person could be a water sign. They could have water in their chart or they're just simply like experiencing a lot of emotion, which this person is. You had the Ace of Cups pop up twice. That's pretty intense. Let's do one more and then I wanna pull a card for how this person currently feels about you. Although I think you know. Okay, <laughs> 10 of Cups. That is a wish fulfillment card. It's a happily ever after. This person feels like you are the one. You are the one that they want to spend their life with. You are the one that they love. Um, yeah, this is someone who's not playing around. All right, let's do feelings. Okay, so what are this person's current feelings for you? What are this person's current feelings for you. Three of Pentacles. That is someone who wants to work it out with you. Someone who feels like the two of you are on the same page. You want the same things. You work well together. Um, you could have met this person through work, but this is the cooperation, collaboration, conversation card. They are sincere here. I would expect an offer from this person. Well, um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button and blessed be.